Hi, Nostra is a platform and protocol for publishing notes and other stuff from your browser to other people's browsers. The word Nostra sounds like the Latin root word for ours, and Nostra is a platform that belongs to us and to everybody. Notes and other stuff basically means posts or tweets, making Nostra ideal as a kind of decentralized social network. These notes and other stuff are simple JSON documents called events and are sent over WebSockets. So it's first and foremost a web protocol, though there are native clients, and of course you can make a WebSocket connection from any program connected to the internet. Speaking of clients, there are several independent clients to choose from with various trade-offs and options. Nostra events are cryptographically signed and broadcast to multiple relays, and then followers pick them up from those relays. Relays are simple dumb servers that anyone can run. They're designed to do one thing well, which is store signed events and filter, select, and return them again when someone asks for them. Authentication is 100% client side using cryptography. Events are signed on the client side, and the private key is yours to keep. Followers subscribe to your public key or NPUB. Like with Bitcoin, a cryptographic key pair is what makes your Nostra account yours. Nostra is built on crypto, but unlike many Web3 decentralized projects, it doesn't use a cryptocurrency, just good old fashioned cryptography. The Nostra network is resilient because clients publish events on multiple relays. If a relay shuts down or blocks you, you just stop publishing to it and followers can keep getting your events from a different relay. Relays simply act as proxies for shuttling events between clients. You can tell how truly decentralized a system is by looking at two properties. One, can the creator shut it down? And two, do you need permission to build software on top of it? The creator of Nostra can't shut it down. Thousands of people are running relays independently and many independent clients exist. The cat is out of the bag, Nostra exists and nobody can turn it off now. What about permission? If you try to build on a platform like Twitter, you have to sign up, get accepted as a developer and ask for an API key. You need permission to develop from the gatekeepers at Twitter and the official API is locked down tight to a small set of things you're allowed to do. On Nostra, creating an account is as simple as creating a private key on your local machine. You can do that with a Nostra client, but looking at the code makes it obvious how simple it is. Generating a private key is a one-liner and there are several alternative libraries to choose from. Reading events from the network doesn't even require any libraries. All you need is a WebSocket connection to a relay, and then you make a request to download the events from the NPUB you want. Posting to the network is just about as easy. You create an event, sign it, and then send it to some relays to store it. As a developer, this is hugely attractive. I can build whatever weird things I want without asking permission. As a user, I love that no one owns Nostra and my data and private key are mine to do what I want with. These properties make Nostra unique among similar projects. And the best thing of all is that it already works right now, today. If you want to follow me on Nostra, you can find my NPUB address in the notes below. Recently, I've been building stuff on top of this cool platform and I'm excited to tell you about some of those projects soon. So that's why Nostra. Best of luck and thanks for watching.